it's hard for me to find a time where I've been so disappointed uh, with a Texas Longhorn team. Um, this is not the first time that Oklahoma has completely clowned the Longhorns in the Cotton Bowl. Happened last season. Um, but last season, you know, Longhorns fans, we had the, the only optimism we had, and I had some going into the last season because, hey, we're young and we're spunky and maybe we can pull it out. This year, we had legitimate reasons to believe that the Longhorns could win this ball game, from what we'd seen, at least from our offense, and we knew the playmakers we've had. And, and they kept pointing out how young this team is, and they are, but you can't keep using that excuse. Everyone's got young players. It's college football. And the, the, the Sooners have beaten us three years in a row. But two years in a row, Oklahoma has come into Dallas completely understanding what this game means and how big a stage it is. And for two seasons, the Horns didn't show up. For two seasons, it's like we got beat when the game first started. I, and, you know, you, you saw the start of that game, and, and for a while we only had two points and they were killing us, and really two points looked worse than zero because two points is like kind of when you tell a joke, like we're going to beat you guys 64 to 2. That's pretty much what it is, what, what it was today. Uh, on defense, we still can't tackle. I, I, I don't, you know, I, in my head and in my heart, after watching us play Okie State and West Virginia and, and, and even Ole Miss, Watching our guys miss tackles, I would try to just explain away, like, oh, that, that, they'll clear it up in practice. That's the only thing that's missing. They can't. And, and the thing was, though, it wasn't just missed tackles. The lack of effort, especially there, like, in the mid-second quarter, because this thing was over in the first, um, but really over in the second. Um, and at one point, uh, they had dumped it off to a guy. I think it was their fullback. who had a great game tonight. Uh, and we just tried to just, we just kind of bumped him a little bit. And he's taken off. He's still playing football. We're not. And it was just awful. And the, and the defense was on the field the entire game. They didn't play well either. But the offense, we couldn't even get a first down forever. Um, and then to add injury to a major insult, uh, David Ash looks like, who knows how bad he's hurt. And I really hope, just on a personal level, hope he's okay. Um, but that you saw the wrist. It looks bad. Um, and no, he didn't play well tonight. And neither did the rest of the offense. Neither, nobody played good tonight. But you definitely don't want to see your quarterback going down because that can screw up your season. Case there at the end threw a couple touchdown passes, but oh, you had their scrubs in. Uh, I'm, I'm glad Case played well. That, that's fine. I don't, I don't care about that. But the thing is, it's where do the Longhorns go from here? Because this season was looking very promising. And I think what, what makes me so disappointed and makes this one, makes me more upset about this one than last season's was, you know, the week before, if you were following me on Twitter or you were, because uh, I was at the I was at the game against West Virginia. And sitting there, my, my all-time favorite Texas Longhorns team, I think the one I connected with the best is while I was in school, was that 2008 squad. Not the 2009 squad that went to the title game, the 2008 squad that lost to Texas Tech in Lubbock. We all had those certain teams, and that was that's kind of been my team. Just the way you love the way the group of guys gelled, the way they played off each other, and the, the effort they played with. Against West Virginia last week, when I was sitting in the stands, I told my buddy, I said, "Man, I really like this team. Just, just the way they're." I said, I, even, "It was halftime. I said, win or lose this game, I really like this team because this is a team that I can tell is not ever going to quit." And they didn't quit against West Virginia. They got beat. They made too many mistakes, but they lost. But I was okay with that. And if we, if we lost to Oklahoma, I would still be okay with that. OU's a good team. It's the best defense we've played. But to, to get punched in the mouth by OU and to not respond, it was almost like we were surprised that OU came out hard and just started beating the crap out of us. And we, we were like, oh, well, I guess we just sit back and lose. I, these are the worst kinds of games. Now, I know if you're a Sooner fan, you love it, and you should love it. I mean, congrats to you guys. Um, but as, as a fan of the other team, you just sit there and I, you fucking just waste in space. I mean, the Texas Tech-West Virginia game's on. I know people around here are wanting to watch it, uh, but they got to watch this mess uh, screw up. So, Sooner fans, congrats, man. Uh, you know, they show me a lot. They play a lot better. This is, probably, this, this is definitely the best they've played all season. Uh, they looked good against Tech last week, and they just came and rolled us. Um, we got some garbage time TDs, but... You know, it, it was nothing. This thing was over when, when, at, at the kickoff. So, 
Uh, congrats to Oklahoma. Uh, Texas, I'm just... I, I, I've told you guys, now, if you watch my videos, you know, I, I can take... Losses are okay, you know. Even getting your butt kicks okay. You know, that's fine. I can't take lack, lack of effort. And, and, and this... This group, you know, last not last year's group, the group before my senior year there at Texas, uh, that group was a bunch, was quit. I mean, they, they did. Um, they were bad, and they, they knew they were bad, and they, they stopped playing that hard. Um, this group was different. This group I thought was different, and maybe they will be, but today they weren't. Today they fell back in those bad old habits. So congrats, Oklahoma. You guys have earned that golden hat three years in a row, and uh, we'll see what we can do next year. Uh, ho hopefully David Ash is going to be okay. If not, it's going to be Case McCoy's team. And we'll see if he's improved like David has. Um, but, but, you know, no one played well tonight. Congrats, OU. Hook'em horns, Texas fight. But today it's all about the Sooners. Bye.